Hey guys, it's DJ Fearless here, back with another video, and welcome back to another vlog. Because you know what? Tomorrow is Halloween, and you know what that means? I'm going fucking mental. And also, it's going to be kind of different this year, because we won't be allowed to trick or treat. So, what am I going to be doing? I'm going to be chilling up here in my dark, scary dungeon, writing horror stories. Making TikToks, if I can get hotspot or something. And I'm also going to be, you know, you know, messing around with my stuff. Like, mock blood, freaking them, all the maps I have. Uh, freaking write horror stories. And I'm also going to, well, play with my Pug Rufus as well. Because... He's my best friend. He, I loved him since I got him. He always cheers me up. As well as of things like Stephen King, like stuff like, and also weird stuff like, and also TikToks is really cheer me up. TikToks are like David. They're really fun to watch and really funny. And this pug wants to say hi. Say hi. Yeah. Who knows? I'm, I might do a room tour of my decorated room for Halloween. And stuff. And I've been doing a lot of decorating my dungeon for Halloween. And stuff. And I've also been doing a lot of reading books and stuff. Because I was bored. I'm reading the book now called Frankenstein. I'm thinking I all heard that one. I was really all heard one Dracula by Bram Stoker. And you've also heard of, you know, Stephen King books, It, Pet Cemetery, The Shining, Doctor Sleep, all them ones. I've I've read The Shining. I've read It. It's the most the, the longest book I've ever read in my life. And there is also, and it is, um, and I've also read, I've read It the Shining. I'm near, I'm nearly finished Doctor Sleep. I've read Pet Cemetery. It is basically based off the old movie, not the new one. The 2019 one was better, in my opinion. But, but to be honest, I think the old one is scarier than the, than the new one, in my opinion. But I still prefer the 2019 remake. And fun fact about me, if it, if if I watch a scary movie, like a horror movie that people say it's the scariest movie of the year, I'm just like, I'm just like this. That's if it's scary, if it's the scariest movie of whatever year, I swear to God, I'll watch it, and I will still sleep without having a frick freaking nightmare because to be honest I never have nightmares and stuff even though I write a lot of scary stories that pretty much aren't really scary and I read like weird horror books like like even though the Goosebumps ones aren't really scary the, the Stephen King ones aren't really scary but I still enjoy them and they've been also well well, badly, I want to read non-fiction horror books and not that, which kind of sucks. You know, all my horror stories are non-fiction because I don't know what is non-fiction to write about. So, because killer pugs aren't going to be freaking non-fiction; they're going to be fiction straight away because you know, well, that's not going to be real. And freaking vampires aren't going to be real. So you're going to put that down as fiction, like anything, like. Supernatural and all that. That's gonna be our fiction. And stuff. And there'd be also, well, weird stuff. Like, I've been even Googling weird stuff and all. I even heard you, you can name person Daniel. You know, that doesn't even sound like a proper name. Even though I thought I was the original one of creating it, but I was not. Because somebody 
made it up on the internet. Which is kind of weird. And to be honest, nobody knows what nationality you come from. So I'm just going to say, ah, forget the nationality you came from me. Since I belong to myself, Count Daniel all the time, even though I'm absolutely awful at maths in class. I barely even listen. I'm in third year. My teacher calls me a three-year-old when I'm not a three-year-old. Like, ju just mainly because I wear fake fangs all the time. It's not my fault that everyone calls me a fangless terror. I got my wisdom fangs pulled out and stuff, which was kind of painful. I couldn't speak for two weeks, which is really annoying. And like, I could barely even eat properly. My gums were like blown out. I couldn't even speak. I couldn't even eat. Well, I could eat, but like I couldn't eat like properly. My fang smell was killing me. And stuff. So. Rest in peace with the fang. You were the best. You were the best times of my life. And you also made me very trendy. Not on TikTok. In the first year, my friends would not stop talking about my wisdom fangs. And they probably still do that. And like another thing. I'm so bored. But tomorrow I mightn't be that bored. Because it's Halloween and like, why would I be bored on Halloween when I can do whatever the hell I want? Like, in Romania I'll be up in my room asking my mother, my father and my sister for hot spot. Because our internet got cut out and I'm really bored without it. So that's why I'm just recording videos of me talking to myself. Even though when you're watching it, it will feel like I'm talking to you. Which kind of makes sense. And like, I am so bored. I'm bored in the house. Bored in the house, bored. No, like, I have nothing to do. I just want another six months isolation away from my school. I don't even want to touch the school again. Even though one thing that sucks is that, like, people would say because of liver fiber restrictions and blah blah blah, all that stuff, is that we're not allowed have our cousins and stuff around but we can mix in with like people from different families in our school like, what the fudge is wrong with ya like and stuff I barely even talk to my friends in school because they complain about everything they complain that I want to be a dead pug for Halloween they complain about me what like in Stephen King and all that kind of stuff like anything, Stephen King. You know, next year I'm gonna be Georgie for Halloween. Georgie from it. I just go around with a yellow jacket and blue pants. And blue jeans or whatever. And stuff. So yeah, bye. See you next time. And happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, left.